This video is about the linear log model written out here. Again, log refers to natural log in this case, in pretty much any case in economics. So the idea here is kind of the opposite of the log linear model in that now we sort of want a percentage change in x to be associated with a unit change in y. So there's, again, an approximate interpretation of this beta 1 slope coefficient, and then there's an exact interpretation. And in this case, the uh, how good the approximation is depends on how much x is changing, it does not depend on how big beta 1 is. So that's a difference with the log linear model. So as an example, imagine x increases from 40 to 60. So first, what we can do is figure out what does that mean in terms of the increase of log x, and then we can just multiply that by beta 1, like usual, to figure out the corresponding change in y. So if x increases from 40 to 60, that means log x changes by log 60 minus log, sorry, 40. <clears throat> and using these properties of the log function, uh, we can rewrite that as the log of the ratio, 60 divided by 40, which is the log of 1 and a half, which is equal to 0.41. So that's our change in log x. So the uh, corresponding change in y associated with this change in x will be 0.41 times beta 1. So this increase is associated with a 0.41 beta 1 unit change in y. So this is an exact interpretation. We did not use any approximations over here. We just used uh, some properties of the natural log function. We can see this 0.41, so here this increase in x was a 50% increase, right? 50% of 40 is 20, that's how much it went up by. But the 50% did not translate to 0 0.50, in this case it's 0 0.41. This is because 50% is a relatively large increase, and with that size increase, the approximation becomes poor. If instead we had x increase by only 1%, uh, then, spoiler alert, we'll get a very good approximation. So here, imagine we're again starting at 40, 1% uh, of 40 is 0.4, so we would increase to 40.4. So now if we think about the change in log x, we'll have log of 40.4 minus log of 40, again using the log function property take the ratio, 
And again, because this is a 1% increase, this is the log of 1.01, which is not exactly 0 0.01, but it is extremely close to it. Um, <clears throat> so then in this case, this 1% change in x is associated with a 0 0.009, sorry, 99. It's a very good approximation. Uh, beta 1 unit uh, change in y. which is approximately a 0 0.01 beta 1 increase in y. Uh, 